Hello my art loving friends. Well, I am sitting here with two more unopened art subscription boxes and there's three or four on the desk already. Oops. So I had really great intentions when I first started getting these boxes and why do I have these? Well, these are leftovers that my grandma was still subscribed to and then she passed away and I just had the address changed over to my house and she had a couple more months of Sketchbox and palletful packs I think through March or April of this year. So these are still gonna come for a while, but I was trying to film them as they came, but then I'm like, oh, I'll do something fun with these and then other projects came up. So now I just have a backlog of them and my good intentions were when I opened like three in a row, I was just gonna do one project with all of the supplies. That's not gonna happen. I'm going to show you the footage of me opening those other boxes so you can see the good stuff that was inside them. And then we will open these two new boxes and figure out what we're gonna keep and what we're gonna let go of. So this is November's box. Let's see what's inside. Ta-da! Oh boy, more Marabou. I love these aqua inks. This is pro white, so that's awesome. A color I don't have. Surprise, surprise, because I'm getting quite a collection of these. Looks like a lot of pencils and they look like thick pencils. What are they? Create a color, the brilliance made in Austria. So these all look very metallic. Look how fun. Blooming Viola, Gopher Gold, Misty Day and Cotton Candy. We have a Stabilo Aquarellable. So this is cool because these are water soluble. You can sketch with them and they kind of dissolve in water. A General's Charcoal White. So we've got a theme going here. I suspect that black paper is gonna be pretty useful that I see down there. Wow, this has so much stuff in it. Let's see what these are. Holbein Artist Colored Pencils. So we received a bunch of these Holbein, not a bunch, I think four or five of these in a previous box when I was still subscribed. They were all pastels, so it'll be interesting to see if these are considered pastels, if they're different or the same as the colors I already have, I'll have to find them. Naples Yellow and Wisteria. Hopefully they're different. Get quite a collection of Holbein colored pencils going on. And the Stabilo Metallic Pen 68. I really enjoy using the Stabilo pens. They are very enjoyable to use, so we have like a Gold and a copper, if I had to guess. Yeah, color names are not written on there. There is a color number, it looks like, maybe. Can't quite tell. Jelly Roll, not my favorite out of white gel pens, but they work sometimes. Princeton Round 2 Tiny Brush. And Posca Markers, a white and a silver. So I don't have a silver Posca Marker. I have a ton of white ones, so I'll probably put this in the giveaway for one of you guys in the future and just pull out mine that is the exact same size and use that for this project today. <laughs> Jack wants in over there. And black paper of some sort. They don't include the little card inside the box anymore. Very smooth, very thick. And quite a few pieces. It's a lot of metallic supplies. This should be pretty darn interesting. So I know we didn't even finish that last palette full packs, but the sketch box box came. This was my grandma's last or second to last month, so I figure we should add this in and see what we have. Marker paper. Oh my goodness, this is an expensive box. Three Copics. Pretty colors. Holy moly. Holbein colored pencils. Two more Holbein colored pencils, that's good. <laughs> because of the subscription boxes, I'm actually getting a decent color selection in Holbein colored pencils, very nice. And a manga liner in silver and white. Okay, well, that all could be pretty fun. I'm pretty sure that's it other than a cute little sticker. And, wow, this came absolutely destroyed. So I don't know if the male people retaped it or I guess they had to have been the ones who retaped it. Well, I have it on video that, <laughs> that it came destroyed. So if we're missing a bunch of stuff, we know why. Definitely know why. Okay. Oh, oh geez. That's a good box. Robert Simmons round size six watercolor brush. Oh my goodness, they actually sent they actually sent Snellier paint. That is pretty awesome. 
So I've seen these all over, people reviewing them on YouTube. And the palette itself, I, you know, is subpar because it's clear there. If they had made this a solid top with white, that would have been ideal. And then the brush is so tiny, it would just be for line work. But hey, eight half pans of Sennelier watercolors. That's super fun <laughs> and so cute. It's just so darn cute. I think that's the appeal for everyone is how cute it is. Oh, that's an adorable sticker this month. We have Stonehenge Hot Press. Interesting. And uh, more of these. <laughs> uh, Palafil Packs loves sending these Strathmore postcards. Actually, they usually send the watercolor postcards, so this is the mixed media version. At least it's something different to try. It's also very smooth though, kind of like hot pressed paper. Well, hopefully that was everything that was supposed to be in the box. I will have to get on to their little online card and find out, but it doesn't look like we're missing anything. This is right here. Quite expensive collection for the petite box. I'm curious what the premier box received. Very fancy. Okay, let's combine all three boxes worth of supplies maybe and see what we can do. Ugh, it's been a month since I've opened this one. I forgot what was in here. <laughs> so let's open these remaining two, see what all we have and decide what we're gonna keep and what we're gonna let go of. Let's start with the sketch box. In it we have, I uh, don't know what this is, but we'll figure it out as we go and the artwork and the artist. Ooh, Daniel Smith dot card. You guys know what I like to do with dot cards and it looks like there even is enough paint on this dot card for me to do my little dot card paintings. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will link my dot card playlist up in the corner for you and in the description box below and you can check it out. It's kind of fun and I can't wait to get back to it. We have hot press watercolor paper, King Art fine liner pens. That's a nice set of 12. Oh boy, we have some really fun stuff in this box, you guys. We have three bottles of Holbein acrylic gouache. How fun. Light green, magenta, and wand brillant. A brush by Princeton Select, some kind of pointed filbert and a size four, and our sticker. Okay, well, if that isn't an awesome box, I don't know what is. That just made my day. Let's see what's in this one. This one is very heavy. And look at the box. They changed their boxes. They're more metallic-like now. At least it looks like that to me. They're very shiny and pretty. Okay, let's see what's in this very heavy box. Art Alternatives Cotton Canvas in a 4x4. A very antique looking sticker. De La Rowney System 3 Fluid Acrylics. What do these look like? Okay, so they're in some kind of squeeze bottle with a tip and I just got paint that came out. So I guess they are not sealed. <laughs> Very pretty red, however. So there are five colors in there. So we have a red, blue, yellow, green, black, and white. Another Princeton Select angular shader brush, size three eighths of an inch, a teeny tiny, 8 over 0 White Sable by Robert Simmons. Look how teeny tiny that is. Holy moly. And looks like a 4 by 6 note. That's probably a 5 by 7 Art Alternatives canvas board. All right, here is everything in all of those boxes, unless I'm forgetting one somewhere, but I don't think I am. It really doesn't look like that much stuff. The brushes, I usually keep brushes, and this one I actually rather like. Plus I tend to give away brushes to my daughter-in-laws and stuff as they come over and use stuff and need it. I'll put those with my brushes, Copics with Copics, pencils with pencils. The worst part is adding all this to my inventory list <laughs> because I have a very complete inventory list that I have started that is pages and pages and pages long. So pretty interesting because my art room does not look that messy or full and I am only about half done, maybe a third done with the inventory and it's all those pages so far. So it's kind of freaky how many art supplies can be hidden away in drawers and closets. It's pretty interesting. Okay guys, out of all of this stuff, what are you most excited to see? Maybe I can put that to the top of the list to play with. The list is getting quite large at this point, but that's actually very exciting for me and I hope it is for you as well. I do feel a little bad not creating something with all of this, but I kind of look at it and get a little overwhelmed. So I'm just going to take it easy on myself this time and put these away where they belong and wait for your comments and maybe I'll pull the favorite vote out and we can get to that pretty soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you in the next video.
Bye for now. Studio light's just gonna glare off of that, isn't it? Just ignore that. Look how pretty it is right out my studio window. That blooming plant. Cat is enjoying that, and the other cat found the sunspot. She's no dummy. <laughs>